I am the bread of life. This is taken from the bread of life discourse in John chapter 6. People are following Jesus, not because they saw signs, but because they ate and had their fill. Jesus was able to fill them through the words that he preached to the gospel, and he physically feeds those who follow him. He passes this on to us today through the preaching of the apostles that was passed on through the centuries. And we are nourished through physical food, through the Holy Eucharist at Mass that was celebrated throughout the ages. The Eucharist is a very special gift given to us in our Catholic faith. It is the source and summit of our faith. When we take a look at Jesus, we could say to ourselves, he's a liar or he's a lunatic, or we can say he truly is who he proclaims himself to be, and that's the Son of God. We know this because we eat and we have our fill. We take a look at the apostles, the early apostles who have followed Jesus. They were given the Eucharist for the first time at the Last Supper and given the grace of the Holy Spirit to truly believe that Christ was the Son of God. This is in addition to witnessing him performing ministry and learning from Jesus directly for the duration of his public ministry. They gave their lives for the true faith that Jesus professed. The motivation behind this is that they had such an acute understanding of the Eucharist that this is the food that brings life, and not only the food that brings life, but helps us into everlasting life. The early apostles and early Christians understood this wholeheartedly and completely. As we get a glimpse of this faith that they demonstrate, does it not spur us on to action? Does it not motivate us to take a closer and deeper look at this food from heaven? It is given and offered to all so that we may have life within us, life in abundance, and a life that leads to an everlasting life. This week, I invite you to take a closer look. Meditate on the Gospel, John chapter 6. Visit Christ in Eucharistic adoration and ask the Lord in prayer to help uncover the mystery of his true presence in the Eucharist and your participation in it. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.